All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be trying out Time to Morp, a colony automation game that has just come out in early access. And I want to give a big thank you for the uh, Yogscast Games for um, sponsoring this video. And uh, it is, like I said, it's out on early access now. I'll put the link in the description and everything, uh, and I'll put it as the pinned comment as well. So for what I believe, we get these little morps, these little creatures... And it kind of reminds me of Slime Rancher. Um, and we can automate them. We can get them to do, like, chopping wood and all this kind of stuff. So um, I've only seen, like, a little trailer of it. I'm not going in with, like, any knowledge or gameplay knowledge. And I want to... Oh, it's kind of pretty. And I want to see what it's going to be like. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Was it fun, your first landing intern? Your legs might be sore, so let's stretch first, and then we can talk. All right. You gonna get me to move around and stuff? Yeah. Use move, use jump. All the normal shenanigans. Talk to the captain. Friend? Friendly? How may I help you? Talk to the captain. Boom. Okay, now let's find a good spot to land the rest of the crew. Wait, let me guess. They already found a landing spot. I'd like uh, to know they trust their captain to complete a simple task. <laughs> then let's find out where the landing drone is. All right, new upgrade. Morp wiki. Everything you need to know about the morps. So it's telling us to hit V and morp wiki. So Captain Rock landing drone. So I believe this is developed by a Latvian team, a development team. Uh, called Team Halfbeard, I believe. Um, the perfect spot to land... Okay, scan. Where do I go? So this is the character I kind of created. You get to create your own little character, like little outfits and stuff. Um, oh, we've got to go and find the landing drone. This way. So we get to... It, it does give me, like, Slime Rancher and Astronia kind of vibes. And it's only going to get more uh, into the whole, the whole research thing and everything. Uh, protons produced by blue morp con uh, contained in proton deposit. So we just uh, we're just collecting these. Oh no! Wait, wait. It's got, I've got to. Oh, God, I've already messed up. I've got to talk to the captain. Where did he go? Wait. Oh, he's over there. I'm already being a spoon. Captain El Capitan. <laughs> nice weather today, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, the place is fully covered in some blue rocks. How do they expect to land here? Can't do anything properly without their captain. Quick intern, clean the spot around the landing drone. Okay, so start collecting. Oh, is this... Oh, this is night time. So this is kind of like the torch around you? Interesting. So we've got to pick up the resources. We can just hold right mouse button and just run around and just zoop all these up. I'm like a Dyson Hoover. Talk to the captain. Friend, how may I help you? Time to land Good job. Now, stand back. We need to get set up our base of operations. That's a weird, droopy house. Oh. What are those creatures? I have a feeling as well, like, I'm just going in kind of here blind and... It, I think it, it might remind me of Viva Piñata, you know? I have a feeling it might remind me. <laughs> look, look at this guy. Info. Morp info. Max level reach is uh, is empty. Uh, he's well fed. Danger category. Safe. And also, by the way, if you're watching this on the day of release, uh, the day of the release, this will be going out Friday the 8th. I'll actually be doing a live stream of this with um, Total Eclipse and Gem Balls. I'll put a link to their YouTube channels in the description as well. Um, but we're doing, a, we're doing a cheeky little live stream of this on uh, on Twitch. So make sure you come and uh, say hello and all that kind of good stuff. Hello? Who are you? Explorer. Nice weather today, don't you think? Say hello. Huh? Your first real mission intern. And look at you, already landed your first base of operations. <laughs> Told you we can trust the new intern. Usually people end up inside a rock on a first teleportation. Hmm. Engineer, what are those creatures? Satellite scan showed no life forms here. Hmm. 
Captain says, I bet they are hiding from something. <laughs> In turn, bring me one of those creatures. Let's take a closer look at them. They're like a little, like a, oh, I can't, I can't pick them up. Wait, can I throw them? Oh, I can throw them. <laughs> catch. Captain, catch. I need my house. Okay, who, who was it? Who wanted one? Was it you? Here. Nice weather today. Boom. Have a morp. So he's gonna, he's gonna grab the protons, right? Oh my god, he just evolved. They change. They morph. Oh my god. Why did I not see that coming? And it seems they are producing resources now. Morph, you say? I call them <laughs> cute little buddies. No. Mm -hmm. Morphs. <laughs> yes, morphs. <laughs> the fluffy changing pals. We should probably build some safe place for morphs. Agree. Maybe we'll, f uh, we'll feel safer and stop hiding. In turn, if you bring me resources, I can develop some useful tools for you. Let's build a home for our puffy, jiggly friends. All right, so mine proton from deposits. So if I if I was to put him down here, what was that? Oh, just grabbing, grabbing sticks, picking resources. Can I grab some rocks as well? I can. Grab some of these. Can I grab this, some of this this mushroom tree kind of thing? Nice. Uh, open the help screen. Which is the help screen? Is that the... In here? It's we, got the, we got the wiki. We got blue morphs, white morphs. Combine deposits uh, every morning producing valuable resources. Engineer, the explorer, protons, rock, and big rocks. Help screen. Picking resources. This can just help you with what you need to know. Blah de blah de blah. We don't need all of this. We just go all in. So I'll grab some protons from the deposit. Unlock new technology upgrade. Ooh. So we've got proton deposits now. And a dead tree. So we can actually scan for these. So we can find out where to actually, you know, grab them. Oh my god, everybody's asleep. Just hear them all snoring. I've been told I've got to open the researcher. Research. And here's the tech tree. So we can carry more. Simple chest. Fences, which is one of our objectives. Uh, what was your objectives? Move fence to action bar. So move the fence to the action bar. And then we can put this down. Oh, okay. So when you go into build mode, your mouse becomes free. Good to know. And you can rotate the camera like this. So now we've got to mark an area for the morphs, right? So it needs to be... Can I just choose this? Like a little small little... There we go. And how do we mark for home? Open and home theme. Not suitable. The area size is too small. Oh, it needs to be within 150 to 250. Jeez. So let's demolish this. So I'm guessing we kind of need um, a very large area, in fact. So I'm just kind of going to build a extremely large area. Oh, but now I'm out of resources. What do I need? I need protons. Let me just dice in these up. And bada bing, bada bosh. Okay, nice. And now I can make this a home, right? Open. Home theme. Beautiful. No text, no signs. Free space. I'm guessing we, we have, don't have 100% just because of maybe this plant here. Maybe. Oh, wait. Areas three. Do I need to put... I think I need to put this fence inside there. Build a fence in a loop to form an area. Build an area with at least 150 cells to satisfy... Yeah, look. I built it in the wrong place, didn't I? All right. There we go. That's better. So now I make it in an area and have blue morphs in an area with three proton deposits. So we have... We need to put 10 in there. So we need to get as much 
of these guys as possible. Come here. So like if I put, pick you up in there, throw you in there, will you become... Yeah, because now we've got four in there. Okay. So we just need to grab as many as we can and just launch them in. Right? Wait, how do I make you blue again? Maybe I've just got to wait for time. But let's go and grab some more. I need, to, I need like... Uh, like a few more in there. I'm just throwing as many as I can in. I'm just going to make like an army of them. All right, so I've thrown a... Oh, there's a blue one here. I wonder what this little bu bubble is above the head. They're slowly morphing because now we've got five out of ten. Wait, I don't need to go and find the blue ones, do I? Or do they all change in the morning? Crowded. Oh, there's too many morphs around, so we need to take two of them out. Hey, get out. Okay, these are happy now. They're morphing, so they're going to go out and eat that, aren't they? Yes, and then they should evolve. Yes. Evolve my precious morphs. And that should be the 10th one right there. Bada bing, bada bosh. Nice weather today, don't you think? Morphs look happy and it seems they are no longer hiding. But be sure morphs are happy, okay? Keep the size of your areas proper, feed them, and maybe add some decor. I wonder how many other types of morphs there are. Maybe we should catalog them while they're here. Our main task is to find the source of the signal, but I need resources to build a radar to locate it. Basically, more resources, something about a radar, and study those cute jello balls. Ah! Well, let's get to it. All right. So we need to scan for the electrons. So we open the V. No, we go into the... Uh, into, into, into... Where is it? Morph wiki. And electron veins. Scan these. We need to try and find this area now, which is over this direction. Here we go. So this is these. Oh my god. They're turning into these little ones. Like a little red one. Sp spiky balls. Okay. Wait, I did scan on the electrons. Why are you telling me otherwise? Oh, I'll scan the electrons, not the... The vein. Okay, let's collect these. There we go. Oh, I need 30 of them. Nice. And research the simple chest. So research, simple chest. And then build a simple chest and have a simple chest in the area with the blue morphs. Okay. So let's head back to base. Put a chest in there. Oh, nice. And that's automatically being put into the simple chest. And it reloads every two to one second. Oh, every five seconds. Eight seconds. And it has a container amount of 50. Good to know. Okay, so talk. How many I help you? Where is Cook? Have you seen our Cook? He said he will teleport down here. Could you find him? We need to find the crew soon. Okay. Go and get to Cook, which is in this direction. Is he going to cook morphs? Friendly. Hello. Hello. Cracked rock. Look at this. Hello. Hello, intern. I guess I used wrong coordinates to teleport. Awfully sorry to inconvenience you, but can I ask you for a little favor? Could you bring me water, please? It's getting hot in here. I hope that's not too much to ask, but I'll be waiting here. Thank you. Okay. So he wants some water. Research the water well. Research cooking pot, the well. Here we go. Why can we not research this yet? Ah, it's because I actually need the resources. I need 20 protons and 20 electrons. So let's get some protons from here whilst I'm running past it. And then some electrons from here. Bada bing, bada bosh. And then we should be able to open our research branch and grab the well. You can now build one extra copy. So build a well. I don't know if we've got to build a well in the village or we've got to go and build it over near the cook. I'm guessing we can just build it in the village, right? So if we open our tab uh, and put the store you into there. Let's build a little uh, a little well. Oh, not enough resources. I need more electrons. Which we need. Maybe we should put the little farm down for the electrons. So if we go over to these veins over here. 
and then start placing a fence down in here. So build it around this. I want to go like around each blade of grass as well. Wait, why can I not go there? Oh no, I can't go. I'm going to have to bring it in around here. It's going to be a weird looking area. So I'm going to have to strip this back because of these cracks here. I can, I can build that there. As long as the veins are inside, we're kind of fine. Area size too big. There we go. Okay. I managed to get it. So I think it might just be on, uh, on, on point. But let's also put down a basket as well, which we can't put one there. Uh, we can put one here. Oh, not enough resources. What do I need? I need more electrons. So let's mine a couple of these. Place down a basket. And then we need to wait for these ores to kind of extract. Or can I put down some from my inventory? So if I was to... Can I drop these? Move to an empty spot. I don't think we can drop them. Because if we can drop them... Oh, wait a minute. We can. Oh. If I put two of you down there... I can even put three down. Um, eat them. There you go. It was too far away from the... Um, Oh, maybe not. Give me my stuff back. Nice. So we just need three more of these, which means we pick up you, throw you in there, you, in there, you, in there. Eat it. Nice. So now we should have all six. Now let's get some more protons. <clears throat> oh, electrons, sorry. Head back to base and build a well. So you can already tell like the farms will already kind of get big and everything. But we can start putting like pipes and everything down later. I'm just wondering if we attach them to these uh, simple chests and stuff. So let's put a well down. Oh, wait, I don't have enough more. Oh, it's protons I need. Let me just grab them. And now I can put it down. Wait, no, that's it. Bits. That's a chest. A well. There we go. So what can we grab from this well? Pumps water from underground for the player to collect. Okay, good to know. So now our objective is to build a manual pebble cooker. Research the manual pebble, co uh, pebble cooker and bring water. So we need to take some water to cook. So let's grab some water there. And if we go into our research bench, a cooking pot, a uh, manual pebble cooker, which is there. So we're going to need 20 protons, 20 electrons. So 40 electrons in total, plus 10 water, and we can make that. So let's head back to the chef. Give him the water. Hey! I want the water for you. Can you pour some inside? I see a crack on the top. Hmm, much better now. Time to get out. I have crew to feed. What the? Oh, boy. I wonder if we can find fruits here. I, will, I want to cook a dessert for everyone. Okay, so he's probably gone back to the town now. But we still need to get the... Re Wait, can I research the... Um oh, that's emotes. I didn't know that was a thing. So research. Um, I need more protons and I need some more water. So we, it's, it is morning, so we should be able to get more of them. Which I think I do now. So we can make that. Now we need to make the pebble cooker. So we need more protons and we need more electrons. So I'm just going to mine these protons manually. And then head over and get some electrons. Bada bing, bada bosh. And now we should be able to research the pebble cooker. And if we open that up, we've got a pebble cooker. So I need, oh, I need more resources. All right, actually, is there any in here? There is. And let's get some more protons again. Like, eventually, we'll be able to, like, bring these over to this location come, so we can have, like, a central storage. So we're not kind of running around everywhere. So now we should be able to make one of you. So I'm just going to throw you in the hot boy. And let's throw down a cooker. Like right there. Hold to fill. Processing. So protons. So we need to put five in there. Excuse me. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Fill that back up. I think we need to put a lot of pebbles in there. Pebbles, pebbles, pebbles. Oh, it only works in an area. 
Why do I not see the big red bloody boy that's there? Because we have quite a few pebbles. So I need to put it in there. Do I put it in here then? So I'm wondering if to... If this needs to go inside here. No resources to produce. So we fill that. And that's now making pebbles. So protons go into pebbles. Good to know. But now we've got to find a tech plant. Roads. Build stairs. Build road. Research road. So roads. Logistics. Uh, where would they be? Roads down here. So 20 pebbles and 20 electrons. All right. Got my electrons. Now I need to find one of these tech plants. And I'm just wondering... Are they going to be visible to me? I'm going to see all these morphs just popping in and out. Oh, this is, is this it? No, that's a ripe flower. Can't collect yet. A little chest. With some coins in it. Oh, this is a tech plant. Throw water on a plant. I just don't have any water, right? And it says that you can gather fruit yourself. Wait. Can I just go into here? Do I have... I don't have water here, do I? Liquid. There we go. Easy. And then what would they give us? They would give us tech fruit. I'm going to get five of these. I think you're going to water them every time, it seems. It's like gather one. And I can grab another one. Grab another one. And I've got five of them. So we might as well water them again. And then head back to the camp. Hand these over to Chef. So we can deal with them. Chef! I have some tech fruit for you. Fresh, ripe, sweet. I know exactly what I'm gonna, uh, going to cook with these. Uh, Would it be possible for you to build me something? A spot where I can cook. Uh, Tell me if I'm asking too much. Uh, Thank you. By the way, do morphs eat fruits? I wonder. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. But wait, do I have enough? Let's take some water out of there. I think I might have enough now to uh, research the road. I do. Oh, yeah. Street decor, decor flowers. Okay, so we need to build a road. I wonder if we get better speed on a road. We also need to build a cooking pot. So let's go into here, build you. And does this need to be in an area or... Da -da -da. Can't cook delicious dishes. Can cook delicious dishes. Open. Fruit jello. A dish that crew might enjoy. And an energy drink. Okay. Research the captain's house. Which I think we we didn't do, did we? It's in the area captain's house. We need 20 protons for that. Which there isn't any in the storage. Ripper Rooney. Grab some manually then. What's wrong with all of these? Oh, I think these are hungry. Wants home or tech. Morse prefers some area themes over others. Morse will get suitable area when in the right area. Ah, uh, so let's get the captain's house and let's build a road. I wonder if these are going to be for the morps. I don't have enough resources and that's going to be kind of costly to build all of them because we're going to need so many pebbles. But if we take this from here all the way over to the electrons... Maybe we can get some morps that deliver from A to B. Oh boy, this house is mega. Absolute mega. Boom. Well, there's the captain's house. Hello. Nice weather today, don't you think? Okay, so now we've got that. I need to build one stairs. I'm just kind of like making my way through these objectives. Have three tech morphs in any area. I wonder if that's this what these want. Because these are crying. These are hungry. But they also want these plants. Home theme or techno theme. No theme. Morphs prefer some areas over others. Morphs will get a suitable area when they're right area. Does that mean I need to bring in some... Plants? They're also hungry as well. And I'm wondering if I've got to make some of these. White fruit. Produced by a white fruit plant. And an energy drink. Jello. Produced by the water morphs. 
Oh, maybe I didn't put an area with the uh, water in. Maybe I should have done that. All right, what I'm going to try and do... I think this place might be overcrowded, this this one. Because what I'm thinking about doing is picking this up, throwing it in there. And then I want to throw down... I'm going to throw down a, uh, a tech one for him to eat that. And he should become a tech, a tech one. So if we throw you down and you down... Nice. Wait. Okay, that, yeah, that's a tech morph. Okay, let's throw him in here. Throw you in there. Throw you in there. But now it's overcrowded. So I'm just wondering if to take a couple of these out. So he says put in any area, right? The captain wants an energy drink. Engineer wants fruit jello. And research the manual jello cooker. So the manual jello cooker will be in crafting. Manual jello cooker. We need some electrons. What are these ones? Ultimorp. Oh boy. They look weird. Anyway, let's grab some of these. Research that. And then build it. And then we fill it with water. All right, it only works in an area as well. So it has to be in an area. So I feel like we're going to have to build like a lot of these for like the cooking and all that kind of stuff. And we just put water in there and it just makes jello. Does it? This doesn't need to be in an area, does it? So I'm just wondering if we put down... Oh, I need more resources. I need more protons. There we go. Um, not suitable for a home thing. North Tech, remove from the area. So I've got to remove this then, right? Can I make this a home area now? Oh, the genuine manual jello cooker. So it, that can't be a home theme. But can this be put made in? Okay, so the, it doesn't have to have a theme. So this is now in an area. So we can put the cooker then back down. So let's put you back down. And now this is making the jellos. Beautiful. Right, so I've been grabbing some tech fruit because apparently these guys eat it. So hopefully somebody eats it. I think. Will they eat it? No. Because I'm looking here. In the morning, Morph will become hungry and look for something to eat. Oh, is it? Oh, I think it's because of the cooker. I think the cooker and the storage is stopping them from eating, I think. All right, let me just move these real quick. Because these eat. In the morning, they'll become hungry and look for something to eat. Eating something will make them well fed. But it doesn't tell you, like, what they eat. Eat proton deposit to produce proton. So why is he not eating this? Why are you not eating these? Let's, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this storage. So apparently it eats protons, right? So I thought, could I not just throw a couple of protons on the ground? But then what happens, it gets picked up by you. So I'm just wondering if we're gonna have to remove the cooker because the cooker, oh now you're, wait. Because these are not happy at all. All right, so let's just throw a couple of these down. And let's see if they eat them in the morning. All right, so they are eating them. Look, they're munching away. So I can't put a cooker in this area. Because the cooker consumes it all. So now they're all happy. So I'm just wondering if I've got to find another area and put a cooker in it with the protons. All right? So if we grab all of this, but then I'm also wondering, the storage container, if I put one back down again that's going to consume until it's full right it means they're not going to eat like these need to eat as well and these need to eat tech fruit which i have i have tech fruit here you go are they going to eat that no so i'm trying to look at this Morph will get suitable area. Morph prefers some area themes over others. They require a home theme. Obviously, this is not a home theme. So let's kind of build that up. Can I have this as a home theme? Not suitable. <clears throat> it's too small. So let's remove this wall here. And then build it up here. Maybe that all be enough room home theme oh my god it's just short well, i guess i'll take it this way a little bit more area should be bigger oh my it's in the green what do you mean i'm gonna take it one more line out 
There we go. Now it's in. Okay, let's get these tech morphs in here. I've just realized, technically, I should put these next to the uh, tech plants, right? The tech plant area. I wonder if I can... I'll be able to plant them, like the tech plants in this area. Because these areas are large. Wait, do I run faster on this? It doesn't seem so. It's just more of a decorative thing. What happens if I put two paths next to each other? Oh, it does get bigger. Okay. So they kind of merge together. So you can make thicker roads and stuff. It's just all on like a one by one right now. So I'll tell you what, the game does give you quite a few objectives to kind of go through and like little side quests and all that kind of stuff, which is, I guess is a good thing. Because like, it gives me something to work towards. We aren't be st like standing here being like clueless of what we want to be doing. But like the captain right now, he wants an energy drink, which requires water and I don't know what they are produced by. Oh, they're, they're produced by the pink morphs by them guys. And you guys need to be happy. So you need food and you require tech fruit. So I'm just wondering if we remove this area. Right. If we remove this area like this, we then run over this way and we build an area here with these tech plants that they will be a little bit more happier. But my only problem is I need to get these to be uh, to grow automatically. But if we look into the objectives, we can see there is a sprinkler we can unlock. So, that means we can put them down next to these plants. So, we make this a home. Nice. No signs. Uh, I want to save that as a home theme. Then, we need to go and grab the techies and bring them all the way over here and transport you all the way over here. Because, obviously, the, the better option would be for me to make the plants over there so I can kind of put everything together. But, obviously, like, we want to use logistics to kind of bring stuff over to different areas. So, like, we'll use the pipe system to maybe bring the uh, tech plant stuff, the seeds, to another location. Throw so him in there. And then I should just need to grab some water and do that and see how these will react now. Do I have to manually do these? He's going to eat it, isn't he? Yes. Nice. So they've all got a plant each. But obviously right now, I'm going to do this by myself. And we need to automate this process. So now he's giving off these energy things. Will you eat them as long as I pull them down? You will. Okay, then. So let's harvest you again. Harvest you again. They're going to eat them. And now we should be able to make the energy drink. So we can get that side quest done. Oh, did not want to pick you up. So if we go into the kitchen now, we can now make an energy drink. Actually, no, I need more water. Grab more water. Cook that. Oh. Oh, okay. You've got a left click on each of the hearts. Okay, good to know. Okay, more water needs to be collected. I'll put some water in there to make some more jello. And then I should be able to give it to you, right? There you go. Have an energy drink. And now we want some fruit jello. We have to build six manual jello cookers. Oh boy. But I think what I want to do is I want to look at the uh, sprinkler. Simple sprinkler. Here we go. So that needs give tech points 20. Produced by tech morphs. How do I get tech morphs? I'm pretty sure these ones over here was originally tech morphs and now they've turned into these red ones. They turned into a pink morph. These was originally tech morphs. Interesting. But I think, to be honest, I think we're going to call this here. So, guys, let me know what you think of the game. Uh, obviously, um, Yoga Scouts Games, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. And, uh, yeah, I really do appreciate it. So, 
make sure you check it out in the steam in the description below and i'll also pin it as the comment in the comment section as well so guys thank you so much for watching much love and i'll uh, see you in the next video so keep smiling as always and i'll see you then